Hi, it's Counting Sheep, and I don't have blue hair or purple hair. I just have brown hair, but in the lighting on this laptop, it just gives me colored hair, so um, that's what you get. But I'm going to just do a hopefully relaxing video tonight. I want to chat with you a little bit and catch up and um, listen a little bit, and then I'll probably use my hands and do some affirmations with you. Um, and there have been some things on my mind that I wanted to chat about, and um, maybe I'll listen first so that you can tell me what's going on with you. And then I'll tell you some of the thoughts I've been having that I seem to be feeling kind of strong about. So I thought I would put them out there. So first of all, tell me how you're doing, um, what you're doing, anything you want to share about what's been going on with you lately. And we can do both some of the rough stuff and some of the great stuff, some of the gifts that might be coming from it. So um, I'm going to deal with just having the speaker on my laptop so that I can have some freedom here. And I'm just going to listen to you for a minute. And you go ahead and tell me about something that's been going on with you that's maybe not your favorite thing to be experiencing. Okay? Yeah, go right ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. That's the tough stuff. And if you want to tell me more, um, please do. I'm here to listen. Um, and you can pause this and or you can um, play it again. Um, but I would love you to just share anything you want to. Okay, thank you for telling me the tough stuff. Um, and I know that it's not always easy to talk about. And um, sometimes it's helpful, sometimes it's not. So I always leave that up to you. But oftentimes it's helpful just to get it out. So thank you for sharing. And. Um, if you can think of some things that are going well, and even if you don't think anything's going well, there's always something that is all right, like, you know, I got out of bed today, or maybe there's some really great stuff going on in your life. So feel free to share some of the things that you feel gratitude for or just that are going well. Yeah, go ahead. And anything you're excited about, even possibilities. Okay. Great. Great. Thank you. Thank you for being willing to share, and um, I appreciate it. And um, I'd love to share a little bit too. And um, I'll see this blue hair while I do it. And thank you for listening to me. Um, some of the rougher stuff, uh, which is going to probably be part of what I'm going to talk about, and then I'll do some affirmations. But um, I've gone through some loss this year. And uh, it, it tends to knock me back a bit. Um, and um, I've been thinking a lot about it. I, I, in the last few years, people that I love very much and some family have lost several people. And uh, three of them, unfortunately, I have lost to suicide. And um, at both 
family and, and very close friends. And um, I find that every loss is unique and, um, and every loss has its rough things and, and even some blessings in every single one of them. But um, it's, been, it's been challenging. And um, I won't go into detail about those, but I do want to say that, um, you know, there's, I think, um, I just learned yesterday that um, even where I live, one of the counselors um, I was talking to and said that there were nine attempts at suicide last month and 10 this month. And um, it just got me thinking a lot about things. And that's some of what I wanted to talk to you about. So that's the rougher part is the heaviness that I think um, a lot of us are feeling on the planet. Not everybody feels it, um, but there's some, um, it feels like to me, sometimes there's bullying going on, you know, on, with, with a lot of the world leaders, a lot of the world leaders, and I don't love it. And, um, would be so cool if we could shift to a different kind of paradigm of leadership. Um, and um, the positive that I feel is that I feel like there's a lot of grassroots that are stepping up. I feel like there are a lot of uh, movements, um, you know, people marching for things that they feel passionately about and people standing up for um, the issues that they that are personal to them. You know, activism is, is coming more to the forefront as we see racism and sexism, um, all these isms coming back again. Um, and I say coming back again, and, and they've always been there, but we're looking at them, I think, again, possibly in a new way. And um, certainly I am. Uh, so the positive, I suppose, is that I'm getting to reevaluate again. Where am I um, prejudiced um, for or against something? Where do I make judgments that I'm unaware of? What filters do I have on? I mean, there's so many that I'm not even aware of, but I can look at those that I become aware of and say, okay, am I wearing a filter as I look at the situation or at this person or at this opportunity. So that's maybe what's coming up. Um, and I also, um, with the losses, I find that I judge less um, when somebody's having a hard time. And um, I still can be a judgmental person. I think we all are in different ways. But uh, I find that um, I can't know what someone's heaviness is or what's making them happy or sad. Um, it's so personal to them. And what I'm coming to, and so this is where I'll share what I hope is more positive. There's that old saying, we are the ones we've been waiting for, or we are the ones we've been hoping for. Um, and I've heard that over the years and, and always thought of it as a, um, a call to, well, to activism on a certain degree of not sitting by and letting somebody else take up that um, burden or be active about that. And I think we each have to find the things that we feel passionate about being activists about. Um, and for some, it's the environment. It can be many different things. But um, what I wanted to say is that I do feel it's important that we become, you know, we, we look outside of ourselves of who, what could give me hope. I feel so hopeless on the planet. I feel so hopeless with these world leaders or with my boss or whatever your story is, whatever my story is of hopelessness, that I've got to be that place of hope for others. In other words, I think it's a calling um, that is maybe really strong right now on the planet to um, certainly show up for ourselves, but it's bigger than that. I think it's about um, if I want to feel hope, I have got to be the person that people can feel hopeful toward. 
I've got to be the, the safe place for people. Um, if I want this world to be safe, I've got to be safe. I've got to make sure I'm safe. I've got to make sure it's safe for others to share with me um, and and for them to, um, you know, and, and it's there's still this, this need to self-protect. And I actually think it's important. I think we need to take care of ourselves. And I know that's something we throw around all the time, but I really think that I can't, um, if I'm run down or depressed or, you know, needing to go inside, I really can't be there for anyone because if I do, I spread myself so thin that then I'm more depressed or hopeless or whatever. But if I take the time to do what I need to, and sometimes it's watching an episode of Ellen um, and laughing, you know, watching something that makes me laugh or that makes me feel good, makes me feel safe, makes me want to be loving, makes me want to be kind. If I find those things as much as I can or um, do my gratitude, you know, I'll notice sometimes when I'm starting to cycle downward, I've got a gratitude journal and I just make myself start writing out the things I'm grateful for. And sometimes it's so hard to think of those things when I'm gloomy when it's gloomy outside, but what are those things that I can be grateful for? And they can be so small. I love that I have a little teeny three foot tree with lights on it. And at night, it makes me so happy to sit by it and to feel that energy. And I, I have a fireplace. I don't know if I've got it on. I do. <laughs> um, it's a gas fireplace, but I feel so grateful sometimes for that little fireplace. And if I can think of even those simple things that kind of raise my vibration and bring me a little more happiness and comfort, then I can take that into my day. And then when I drive through the coffee window, I can pay for the person behind me, or I can just be kind to the person giving me my coffee and chat with them for a moment and lift their day. Um, I remembered hearing that one of the, it wasn't one, I've read one of the, um, a couple of the books, um, the Art of Happiness by the Dalai Lama. And in one of them, um, I think this is something, I don't know that I read this directly, but the gentleman who writes the books talked about how when the Dalai got into an um, elevator, that by the time he would get off that elevator, he'd made the person on the elevator feel so much happier and more joyous just by being happy and kind on the elevator. And boy, kindness is hard to come by these days. Um, that's that's what I'm finding. It's certainly out there. Um, and, and boy, I think acknowledge it when you feel it, when you find it, and give it. And if you can give it when you don't even feel like it, wow, that's amazing. And um, if somebody's impatient on the road, if you can breathe and you can choose to be the patient one, and you can choose to be, again, the one who's going to be kind and who might let that person in and notice that the blinker's blinking. I just think we need so much more of that in this world, and we're all capable of it. We're all capable of making the simplest of exchanges feel kind. And um, I'm certain that I have had people express to me how grateful they were just for a smile when you really make eye contact. And smile at someone and help them feel seen by your smile, not just a smile, but a smile. That's a real communication. That's such a simple way to give. It doesn't have to be money. It doesn't even have to be lots of time, but, um, but, but giving that. And that said, I also want to leave room for those times when we need to just be compassionate for ourselves because we are exhausted and we don't have anything left to give in that moment. And in that moment, it's time to turn inward and just give to this one and just love you and rest or retreat and go to your own space so that you have something full again that you can go out and love and share and give. And gratitude is a great simple way that you can quietly help yourself feel better. So I'm going to do some affirmations and they're going to be about you being the one who is hopeful and loving, 
and beautiful and kind. And because of that, you make this world beautiful and kind and safe. And we need that safe world. And it's, it's simply up to us. I can't change anybody else's response. I just can't. I might sometimes be irritated and wish that I could, but I can't. I might be able to influence it, uh, but it's going to be a more pleasant world if we all choose on our own to be the kind one, to be the safe one, to be the loving one. So when you can, right? And if you know you can't, then go and withdraw and be by yourself rather than spewing venom, right? Go back and take care of yourself and do what you need to to be kind to you so that you feel like being kind again. All right? So I'm going to just do some affirmations. That's all right. And is that okay? If it makes you uncomfortable, you can stop here. But if it's comfortable for you, I'll just kind of play with my hands gently. And bring some good energy to you, hopefully, okay? I'll get a little closer here. And I'm going to tell you some things about you. First of all, you are really beautiful. And I love having the opportunity to spend time with you. And it's been too long. So thank you for spending time with me. You're gentle. You know how to be gentle. You know how to be loving. You are considerate. You're patient. You're fearlessly calm. Your softness is so courageous. And you're so brave in your ability to stand up for what you believe is good and right. And you do it in such a compassionate way that it helps others want to be kind and compassionate about the things they care about. You allow others to feel their feelings. You allow yourself to feel your feelings. I love that you're not afraid to be playful and to not take yourself too seriously. You allow people to play with you a little bit, maybe even tease you a little bit. And when it feels like it crosses the line, you find kind, safe ways to protect yourself and to back off, to give yourself room. To care about you, to be loving to you. You're strong. You're really strong. People look up to you. They watch you and your integrity is moving and powerful. And regardless of the things that others say or don't say, you hold your, to your integrity. You know when to speak up. And you find powerful and kind and compassionate ways to do so. You notice the leaders that speak to you in ways that are kind and compassionate. And you learn from them. You're hopeful. And you are hope. 
You're compassionate. You are compassion. You are kindness. You are goodness. And even when things get rocky, you always choose the high road and you know when to take care of yourself and retreat and recharge. You're loving, you are love. Others look to you as an example and as a leader because you're a great leader. You know when to be tough and express tough love and you know when to be soft and to bend. You have a good balance because you are very balanced. You know when to protect yourself and others. Do you know how to stay open in safe ways? You make this world a better place with every single breath you take. You breathe your uniqueness into this world every time you breathe out. Every single time. And every single breath is courageous, strong, and everyone looks to you everywhere you go as an example of strength and grace and integrity. Thank you for helping this planet with your goodness, with your being. You don't even have to do anything. You just go out there and you just be. You be your most comfortable self. That's a gift. It's a gift to me. It's a gift to others because you're beautiful. And I want to thank you for sp spending this time with me and sharing your beauty with me. And um, I hope you share your beauty even more with the world. Be conscious of it and continue to make this world a more beautiful place and to help others on the planet see how beautiful this world is. Sending love to you. Thank you so much. I love you. Have a good night.